Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Animal Well. Where first things first, I've been meaning to come back here because I can do this and open up a shortcut. Hooray! So this enables me to go through here, and I'm not sure if and how exactly that's going to be useful. It might involve kind of the uh, switch blocks somehow in an interesting way. So there's all these blocks, like the ones over here, that are, okay, so this is currently open. I think there's like a global, like every time you toggle it, it like it toggles like all the switch blocks in the world. And for the uh, one screen down and one screen to the right of me, I think maybe if we go there with the switch blocks toggled, from the right, we could move to the left and get to a new spot that we haven't been to before. But I'm not sure what path I would have to take in order to get there. In any case, uh, we'll get there eventually. In the meantime, where do we want to go? So if I do take this new shortcut, there's something I've been meaning to check out. Let's see, how did I get up here? I guess I can use my wand, probably. Like so. Uh, except better. There we go. So, over here... I feel like I might be able to jump to the right over here, but maybe not, or maybe I need a switch hit. Can I hit... I can't hit this switch. Yes, you will recall, or maybe you won't. <laughs> yeah, there's a guy bouncing back and forth there, and there were switches... Okay, I can hit the switches from the other side, though, right? Like, I come around this way, and then go out this way. Yeah. And we can do the same thing from this end. So, this guy, where is the switch? It's over here. What I'm wondering is if he's bouncing around in there, And then I also got in there. Oops. All right. Took some damage. Oh, gosh. Okay. So I fell down here. Sure. Can't tell in the upper right if there's ever a way to go. I guess if I switch to the yo-yo. Uh, my yo-yo kind of got caught. It doesn't seem like my yo-yo is getting in there either, though. Yeah, I guess not. So on my map, there's a screen to the right that we've never been to, and I can't figure out how to get there. Could I go behind the uh, rabbit statue in the upper right that was giving me the chest? I don't think so. We'll take one more quick look while we're over there. So over here, I don't see anything I could do against this end. Could there be something else? Let's try to walk all the way around. Uh, that screen. Basically attack it from all four angles if we can. So over here, I don't see any ways to get through like the ceiling portion that's to the right of my character here. Over here, maybe there's something that would open up a hole in the floor here, possibly, I could imagine, because like, this crazy thing. Looks like my yo-yo goes behind it. So I can imagine there's, like, something hidden back there. Maybe. Maybe. We're now directly above the screen. Oh, can I get my yo-yo in here? There we go. That's all I needed to do. <laughs> I found it! Hooray! So I just need to use my yo-yo to press the button. The yo-yo can go down through platforms. Ooh, and this is one that it's too dark to see the map. Another one of these rooms. All right. Uh, what is there to do in here? Is something going to attack me? Probably. I think there is a chest or two. As well as some fruits. My yo-yo could destroy some of the hazards. Uh, and possibly also attack the ghost rat who just tried to run at me. Alright, what do we have here? Chest. I found a match! Nice! Okay. That is one chest, and then there's another that I would have to get from the bottom right. Hmm. 
So I can't look at the map, so I have to figure out how I come from over there. Uh, okay, quit being scary. And I should eat the fruit. Yum, it's delicious. Is there anything else I can do in here? I can pick a firecracker. I'm up to three. That's great. Uh, anything else to do in here? There's another fruit if I needed it. I think that's it. Alright, and is there anything else to do over here? Not that I can tell. There's another fruit over here, too. So many fruits. So, now that I have my map again... Ah, the lower left. Okay, so I remember trying to go to the lower left of the screen before in the past. And, oh, I've got my yo-yo now so I can break the flooring stuff. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to throw a firecracker and hope that it ends up pausing things in an appropriate moment. That's pretty good. Because now I can use my bubble to ride this down somewhere safe-ish. Here's the ish. And then I can do a whole lot of that. Do I need to do it all? No. But I probably took more damage on this floor than any other one in the game, so... Okay, and sure enough, there's a way to go over here. So, what's in this chest? Planet Egg! Oh, Egg Enjoyer! Find eight secret eggs is an achievement that I just got. Alright, very nice. But it feels like we are cleaning up... Ouch! Uh, I'll just eat a fruit. Everything's fine. We are cleaning up a number of left behindisms. I guess is the word that I've just invented. Uh, so that always feels good. Uh, let's switch back to the wand. Makes various traversal a little bit easier. Uh, there's a save just a few screens over here, so I'm going to save the progress that we have made. And then I think it's time to return to some places that we haven't been to in a little while. So I did have a number of thoughts. So you'll remember this hummingbird that every time I try to blow a bubble, it decides to do that. What if I throw a firecracker? Does that distract you? Uh, it might have, but it also... Okay, he did come back and blow up the bubble. It seems like the firecracker actually hit my bubble, so I'm going to try this again. So if I throw a firecracker, it scares the bird, but he still flew over and hit the bubble. Okay. So that's fine. So then another thing I had an idea to do, which is, what if I just climb up on this screen? And then maybe the hummingbird never sees me coming? Oh, the hummingbird still ended up flying over there. But I did get a look at that screen momentarily. Uh, is it also possible for me to fly off the edge of this screen? Probably. Uh, sure, why not? So let's try just starting here. And then I'm going to turn around. Yeah, okay. So... Actually, hmm. There might be a better way to do this. What if... I start up here. And... Do I remember this? Yeah, the peacock. Oh! An egg door just opened. Okay, that was unexpected. So perhaps because I have... Wrong button. Perhaps because I... Wrong button. Perhaps because I have eight eggs as collectibles, we open the maybe an eight egg door. It has a little bit of a fez kind of a flavor to it, it feels like. So, okay, that's a new way to go then. Oh, and the eggs... I see the eggs I have collected are on display here. This is like the Grub Father from Hollow Knight. So there's there's the planet egg, is that one right there. I recognize that one. Most of them I didn't really, really pay attention to their designs. But holy crap, this suggests that there might be... Oh my goodness. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 30, 45... Oh my gosh. Like 70 eggs or something? That seems ridiculously high. Perhaps I'm misinterpreting something. All right, well, let's see what's over here to the left, what we've won, so to speak. Uh, colorful eggs. It's feeling very Easter-y. There's also, okay, notice the glass floor. It looks kind of like the switch box, and so if they were toggled, maybe I would be able to go through the bottom exit. Also, there's a chest over there. Oh, so if I get the next egg reward, 
the chest. I could come through the next door up, and there's a chest over there, it looks like. Or if I could toggle the doors, maybe? Maybe. Also, what is this pillar? It's got a skull and three dots. Not sure what to make of that. All right, so much to look at in this game. It has a, oh, someone is sleeping here. Oh, it's my bro. Hey, bro. Um, that's the guy who, when he's not sleeping, walks over to me and lets me jump on his head. There's fruit here. Why wouldn't there be? There's lots of play There's another bro, it looks like. And there is a chest. We like chests. Animal flute. Okay. I'd been wondering if the thing that I stood in front of where the frog's eyes lit up was some type of flute. But this is an animal flute. Oh, maybe it's going to wake up the bros. All right. So do I want to just try blowing it? Before I do... I'm curious to just try to... Well, that was not especially successful. I should start from here. Okay, so there's another bro over there, sure. And then over here, this would bring me into like a secret top part. Oh, here is... Okay, this is the flute thing I was talking about. So two other places there's been like a frog or fish head sticking out of the wall and their eyes lit up whenever we stood in front of this thing and there it goes again and it looked like a flute or a horn or something to me with kind of like a bell on the bottom end and then like some places to put your uh fingers to cover holes in the middle so if i try using the flute it caused this guy's mouth to open and so, if I had to guess before I step inside here, I'm guessing this might be a fast travel system. Yes, I think this is a warp hub. So, I don't know how to map this right now on my mapping program, but that's a good problem to have. So I should take a screenshot of this regardless. So I'll be able to put it somewhere. And then if I press my flute button here, do all the mouths open? Only the ones that I have encountered before, I think. So for example, oh wait, uh, I am no longer moving. And as I press like up, right, down, and left, there's like little yellow and white dots near me. Oh, but then I can jump. What was what was that about? Oh, I'm holding the flute. Oh, I can like... I can press eight directions and play a musical. Okay, so there's going to be another use for the flute. Other than just playing a single note in front of this flute mechanism that opens up fast travel. It seems like there's also going to be a way just to play it in arbitrary places. Uh, a little bit reminiscent of Wander Song, perhaps, which is another video game I have not played, but I've watched others. Um, okay, so if this is a fast travel and there's a bunch of other fast travels, I guess let's start learning where they are. So that was the upper right fast travel that I originally just came from. So suppose I exit to the... Oh, am I in the map somewhere? Oh, I am. Oh, wow. Okay, so I'll be able to correct the location of my screenshot later. I'm actually near the uh, one of the flames. Okay. And very near the lower left edge, wherever that might be. All right. And yeah, a few screens lower than I've ever been before. Okay, so if I go through the lower right fast travel mouth, this has brought me... I recognize this place. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm updating some of my own notes about this stuff. So now I know where that one goes. We'll go down this ladder at some point, but for now, let's go in here. I don't specifically remember this. Where am I here? Oh, this is right at the beginning of the game. Right. Right. And I've not been here in a long time. I just want to see if I can do anything up here. Doesn't seem like I can. It looks like there's a candle in the upper left. Now that I have more context, and is there anything else particularly noteworthy here? I don't think so. Okay, well I can mark up that fast travel spot. All right, next up, there's one other fast travel spot I think I visited. So what happens if I go through here? This brings me here. Yes, this is the one I was thinking of. So this shows up over here on the very left edge of the map that we've explored so far. All right, and then finally, I don't think that this mouth is open. Yeah, this one's not open either. So we'll have to find that on the map at some point. So having explored all of the open mouths in here, now let's actually try going downwards. So can I figure out where I am on the map? Okay, I think I've kind of consolidated all my notes in my screenshot tool, and so here we are down here. Something, some kind of like fish thing just like disappeared into the water. And doesn't look like there's necessarily any exits from this room. Hi, fishy. He's dancing. So right, right, left, left, down, down, up, up. And since I just recently got a flute, I have to try right, right, oh, interesting. Left, left, up, up, down, down. But I don't think that's going to do anything because it seems like I can only play a note when I change directions. So if I do right twice in a row, it doesn't really do anything. But if I do left, right, left, right, it does like that. Also, that also gives off light, like playing the flute. So that's interesting. Um, didn't mean to press the inventory button to switch back to the yo-yo. Uh, I don't imagine I'd want to hit our fish friend, but I'm going to try it anyway. And he seems immune to the yo-yo. That seems fine. I do think he's a friend for whatever reason. And if I use my wand to jump over here, doesn't seem like there's anything here for me. And uh, it does look like there might be some kind of left exit that I have not witnessed. Ah, there is, okay. How was that? Oh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Okay, look at sneaky, sneaky. And so this is one of the advantages of using the in-game map liberally as it kind of shows off where some of those hidden things are. Oh, and there's another mouthy mouth over here. So where is the corresponding flute, flute playing spot? Did I notice it anywhere in this room? Like you have to stand in front of the flute thing. Let's take another look around. Um, in order to play it, in order for the mouth to open. That's what I have gathered. But I don't see a place to... I mean, I can try just playing the flute here. I guess we'll try it. But that does help give me a bit of uh, light in this area. So is there anything else... Hi, fishy. Is there anywhere else that the light could help illuminate anything good? It looks almost like... Okay, I think I might see something, actually. So if I switch back to the wand... Okay, so here... Yeah, there is a space here. So I hit my head here, but there's a space here. And I can't help but wonder if I can possibly... Oops, I fell in the water. If I can 
do something inhabiting that space, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, let me play the food again. Actually, let's use the yo-yo. Yo-yo's good at, uh, actually, it's not good at firing upwards. Now, it does a little bit of firing upwards and giving me some light. I don't think there's anything actually up there. And what about up here? Or here? Yeah, I don't know. So, some type of mystery. Seems like there might be a second fast travel system. Here's the bird call again. Is it a specific amount of time that passes and then the bird call plays? Is it just random? I don't know. For now, I think the correct thing to do is return to the fast travel hub and... Well, actually, I have a lot of options. What is it that I would like to do next? And so I think what makes sense is to go back to this one, which is near where we originally got the wand, if I'm remembering correctly. So you will recall that there is a switch in the upper right that I couldn't get at before. Is there any chance that I can throw a yo-yo in there? It doesn't seem like it. It's not impossible, though. Oops. All right. So if I can't throw a yo-yo in there, I do have another idea about how to get there. All right, so after some surprisingly difficult platforming, I'm finally back over here where we had the whales and things. Sure. And so if I go right a screen, which I should be able to do, oops. Okay, managed to make it up there. I don't need this fruit right now. Uh, here's a great place to use a yo-yo, probably. Uh, yo-yo does not go far enough. Can I, I'm curious, can I drop the yo-yo ahead of me and just, uh, yeah, that totally works. So if I know I'm about to fall on spikes, just break out the yo-yo and throw it downwards and everything will be just fine. Also, there's a save point over here, and it feels like it's been a little while, so let's save. And then my suspicion is that now that I have the yo-yo, I can probably break open a secret passage over here somewhere that gets into that uh, secret area that has the switch on the next screen to my left. And so if we take a look on the map, uh, the switch is up near the top. Uh, it doesn't look like it connects over here, actually. Oh, and there's a yellow dot where the eye lit up and I went through the mouth for the fast travel. So yellow dots might be sig signifying those on these maps, but I think I was actually wrong in terms of my assumption. Is there anything else that I might be gaining from doing all the... Ah, uh, maybe. Look at this. This does show up on the map as like some little kind of secret area, but I don't think I've ever been through here, have I? I have not, because there's a chest. Hello, chest. Please become one with my inventory. Inside the chest we find... Sunset Egg. I am enjoying the... I guess, collect-a-thon, exploration and collect-a-thon kind of vibe uh, that this whole game is giving off. And so that's cool, and it's making me... Like, the yo-yo is just kind of fun to play with, and I'm being rewarded for playing around with it because I'm finding little things that I didn't know about. Like, look at this. It looks like there's a way to go over here. And so this brings me to a secret fruit. Is there anything else? Doesn't look like it. So if I want a fruit, there's one here. Great. All right, in the upper left section of the map, it looks like there's some more suspicious places that I might be able to go. Interesting, I'm writing this down and you can see me still moving down while I'm looking at the map, and so looking at the map does not actually pause the game. That's something that hadn't really occurred to me before. So in this room, it looks like there might be secret exits in the upper right. So I guess the bay to get there is to ride a bubble downwards. And probably take another bubble. And then from here, I wonder if I can witness it first with the yo-yo to know exactly where I'm going. Um, maybe not. Okay, so let's just imagine... Uh, actually, there's something in the background right near my player character. It's like a starfish. It's hard to see. Actually, okay. If I do this, you can maybe see it a little bit better. Okay. 
But yeah, there's totally like a starfish or something over there. Uh, let's go use the wand. The wand, remind me, I think my bubbles pop on those vines. Yeah, so it's going to be difficult to try to get exactly where I'm going. Okay, okay, but there's a fruit here. It says I can eat this fruit. Wait a minute. Is this going to increase my maximum health capacity since I'm allowed to eat it even though I'm at four hearts? And did I just pass by another fruit that might have had the same property? Uh, it's a blue heart, so maybe that didn't increase my capacity. Maybe that's a temporary capacity increase? Possibly. Also, we are currently here on the map. Alright, so I'm in possession of a blue heart. And I guess I'll just fall back down here and try to do a similar kind of move over here. Yep. Oh, and there's a chest! Oh, baby, baby, baby. What's in the chest? It's the ancient egg! I like how the ancient egg looks with kind of like pink with green speckles. I think that's a cool looking one. Alright, so... Our mini-map suggests maybe that we found all the obvious secrets right around there. So I'm going to go save and then figure out where I'm going to head next. Oh, I just bubbled and that guy ate the bubble. Does he do that? Okay, he's able to suck away the bubble from a certain distance away and then he eats it. What if the bubble had been below him? I have a feeling once it gets high enough, he'll suck it in. Yeah. Alright, I just saved the game. So, the obvious question to ask is, what if I am standing on the bubble? Uh, that would be easier to ask if I were going downwards rather than upwards. So, whoop. Uh, okay, missed my opportunity there. He sucks it in pretty aggressively. Alright, so I guess I want to... Yeah. Uh, seemed like I was standing on it and I stayed put in this column and he sucked the bubble over to the right. Am I feeding him? Is he trying to prevent me from possibly finding a secret in the upper right hand corner of the room because I might be able to bubble up there otherwise? Can I... There's the starfish in the background again, by the way. Um, can I stand on your head? I think you do have some collision physics. Maybe with the yo-yo I can witness it? Yeah, so that part... Yeah, it looks, looks like most of you has collision, actually. Could I distract you with a firecracker? And then... Well, then what? Uh, oh, you really get that from pretty far away. What if I'm up here? I didn't hit the right button there. So what if from here... Uh, Alright, you can see that... Even, oh, can you eat more than one? You cannot eat more than one. So if, No, you can. If you have one in your mouth. Okay, there we go. This is how I stand up on top of you. There's the starfish going by again. Um, so, with me standing here, there's totally breakable bricks up there. And is there anything else? Like the stalactites suggest to me that maybe... Yeah, it doesn't look so much like a secret over there anymore. But since I'm standing here, I can probably... Yeah, because now I'm like above your head. So I can... If I'm clever... Okay. If I'm clever. I got pretty far up there and it felt like I was hitting my head on the ceiling. There are more breakable bricks over here now, now that I'm looking for them. Oops. Um, get out of my inventory. So I can break those. But I think that's it. Oh, there might be something breakable right there. Yeah. But again, I don't think any of it's leading to secrets, sadly. All right. All right. It does look like there's space for like some other secret to be hidden, but it might be accessed from another room or something. So I guess we'll move along. All right, I made my way back here because I was originally planning to try exploring to the right, and I accidentally peeked in here and one of the egg doors opened. And so it does seem like maybe I need like twice as many eggs to open each of the next doors or something, I'm guessing. I currently have 10, so maybe once I get up to 16 eggs, another one of those doors will open would be my rough guess. 
But over here, I can't help but wonder if I do something like this. Start writing it down, and then just go boing, boing, boing. Oh, but better. Oh, actually, it looks like there's a secret right over here. Yeah, look at that. All right. I see you, video game, with your secrets. So we have another chest, and this time I discover a holiday egg. Great. From here, can I recover and do my thing? Yeah. Boing, boing. Uh, and the hummingbird all blah, blah blah came all the way over there to come grab me. Son of a gun. Alright, well I'm back at a safe point over here, so I guess I'll take advantage of that. It's a long shot, but is there any chance that the hummingbird cares about music? Doesn't seem to. I think I'm going to have to learn specific tunes in order to accomplish specific goals when it comes to that. And what was happening here with this door? It looks like there's two things I need to press. Uh, have I gone straight up from here? I would have to press them quickly in succession, and probably not, because I didn't have the yo-yo and the ability to do this previously. But if I press them quick enough, uh, I guess I might need to yo-yo both. Uh, I didn't get it quick enough. Um, okay, so if I do this, how long is that? Oh. It has to be held held. Hmm. Could I... Hmm. So yeah, almost the moment I step off. Could I drop a firecracker on it? Maybe. Firecrackers are hard to like throw at a particular location though. So I'm not sure how to deal with that doorway right at the moment. So for now I'm gonna move on. This guy, okay. He ate some grass or something. Now that I have a yo-yo, can I do anything to you? Oh, okay, don't do it. Doesn't seem like the yo-yo does anything to you. So for now, I'll leave you behind again. How about you guys? Uh, yo-yo also does not seem to affect you. You just go walking to the next screen. All right, you guys are not too scary. And I want to go up now. There was like a dog over here that I might be able to jump past. Let's get all the firecrackers. Okay, I've already holding three firecrackers. I've got more health than I would have ever had in the past. I don't actually need to use the bro. Although, he's over here, and so that's handy. And so is this the dog screen? No, this is something else. Where's my firecrackers? There they are. Okay, so I remember this. And now that I own a flute, we can actually witness this screen a bit better. So I'm just going to play the flute in a couple of spots. Oh, look at that. So, like, right above me over here, there's, like, some symbol on the wall. And there's definitely okay. I guess I could have seen it by how the enemies were moving, but there's, like, a... I don't know if secret passage is the right way to describe it, but I could probably jump up there using the wand, like so. And then from here, okay, so I'm standing. Oh, I can even stand on. Oh, it's just a platform. It's not like a secret thingy. There's some other type of like special fruit over there, maybe. Okay, but it looks like I can walk over to this fruit. Oh, it's a candle, and I could light the candle. It's too dark to see the map in this room. I had not realized that before. Um, do I want to spend my one and only match to light this candle? I'm going to do it. Let's do it. All right. The candle has been lit. Now the room looks like this. And there's a little bit more over here that I can see well. All right. But I definitely need to be able to edit this in. So let's actually practice doing this. So if I do this. There we go then I believe you should be able to see the mapper. And so over on the uh, right-hand side over here, am I capturing my mouse cursor? Um, yeah, there's like a bunch of composite screenshots from when I was playing the music kind of all around the room. Uh, so it's kind of lit up very nice and bright and yellow. And so I'm able to see kind of the whole room layout like that. 
whereas the game itself just looks like this right now. So I wanted to show that off. Okay, I'll have to play around with this a bit more in terms of giving myself some hotkeys to use in OBS so I can swap back and forth between views. Okay, so now I could probably, uh, hmm, I still can't use the map. Is that true? No, I can't use the map. All right, so it shows me this. There's a blue fruit to my right, it looks like, or there's something right here. Yes, eat fruit. Now I have two blue hearts. I've not taken damage since discovering the blue fruits, and so I don't know if they are going to stick around or if they're just temporary health or what they are. Um, and then, let's see. Then the next room, unfortunately, is the giant lizard who eats me in one bite. So do I want to go after him right now? I don't think I do. So I think instead of going to the left, where was the dog? Dog is kind of back in a different direction. He's way up here. And I feel like he's one of the enemies that I'm very powered up. I previously couldn't deal with, but now I think I would be able to deal with. And so I would like to try to go to there. But there's some... Um, there's a way down, except for I can't go down through platforms. But if I could, it looks like I could go down through here. Can I get my... It does seem like I can shoot my yo-yo downwards across screens, possibly. So that might be an interesting mechanic at some point. Um, if I want to get back out of here, I think I came in over there, so I need to use the wand to do like this. Oops. To do like this, except a little bit higher. There we go. Yeah, and then I come back over here. Is there anything else I need to do in this area? I don't think so. So I've climbed up to the top portion of the map. I believe the dog is on the screen to the left. I currently have six health, which is pretty great. And I also have an ability that enables me to kind of potentially like fly over him. And so I'm hoping I'll be able to get past him to the next screen, which is somewhere I haven't been before. And so can I just... I think that would work, but I need to start a little bit further to the left so I don't hit my head. Okay, you can't reach me. And now I'm over here. Great. And there's a switch. Let's hit the switch. Okay, I get the gist of it. Why would I want to do that? Nothing obvious showing up over there. So if I continue to the left, we find a normal fruit and a bunch of water that doesn't seem useful to me. And I guess I probably could use the wand here. This one's going to be especially tough because it's very horizontal and there's definitely ceilings that are going to work against me. I guess I can write. Anytime I need to lose height, I can just stand on this for a little while. That hadn't really occurred to me. So this is, the wand is an extremely good movement upgrade. Oh, I missed it right at the end. Silly Brian. Okay, but I managed to make it over here on the next attempt. And so we can continue to the left to discover this room. Can I... Oh, hello. Okay. Is that an unlit candle in the middle? I believe it is. I do not have any matches in my inventory. Uh, also, it's a bad guy. I know how to deal with you, though. So... It is indeed an unlit candle. And so presumably I will want to return here with a match. If I try to use my map, interestingly, it's not too dark to see. So the unlit candles, like there's like multiple mechanics or something going on here. So I open a door on the left-hand side, sure. And then there's also a switch, which would enable me to backtrack because... Oh, and I had to... Mm, it's going to toggle around the unlit candle and different things, okay. But it's going to open this back for me, but it closes other things. 
And then either left or up would be new ways to go. So let's try going left. Interesting. Uh, I guess I'm curious. Oh, wow. <laughs> Neat. Okay. So the yo-yo can create stepping stones from these giant stalactites. All right. And as a result, I learned that this is blocked because there's a thing in the upper that I see with my eyeballs. And so presumably, hmm, I think I better start with this and then do that and then do that. That's kind of closed off what I need to get to. Oh, it's going to break and like break and be destroyed forever or something, I think. Um, can I make this? I could probably make this jump with the wand now, actually. So if I do this, then I can just press it on myself. And then I can't get through here right now, but if I get the yo-yo back out, uh, feels like I can probably, yeah, break that all together. Okay, neato bazito. And so if we just continue going to the left, we find another room with a switch. Hitting the switch does this. And where do I think I want to go, question mark? What did I just see? Oh, just the switch prompt. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a way to go down there. This is blocked, but I don't see where there is. Okay, so let's hit the switch again. I found a bad guy. And I was able to do that. And so now I can see the room pretty well. And I did unlock the door to the left. And there's a variety of ways that I can climb out of here, probably. I'm just going to take what appears to be the easiest one, which is, oh no, this is blocked in, sorry. I thought I was going upward through some platforms, but I am not. So I'm going to take this way back out, and I guess we'll continue going to the left. I'd really like to get to another save point, but I do appreciate finding another chest. Uh, there's a bro in there, and I have to hit three buttons which might involve getting the bro to help. Uh, or it might involve, what is this? It's a crank, I haven't seen one of those in a while. I see, bro, come help me. All right, bro, now come help me over here. Oh, right, the crank, I forgot that it has gravity and clicks back when you're not operating it or whatever. Okay, so I want it up high, and then it'll start coming back, and then I want you to get on it and come over here and hit that thing. So now you've hit two of the three, and now you can come over here and hit this thing, and there's three of the four, and now I have to have you race the crank while it's up top. Seems good, and I guess I just want to go around the top, and then you'll ch chase me over here. Hey, buddy. da 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 we did the thing. Yeah, a lot of these puzzles, I referred to them before as Zelda puzzles, that are not too difficult, uh, but they're all kind of unique and make you feel good when you solve them. What do we think is going to be inside the chest? Place your guesses. I'm guessing an egg. It's a key. I was wrong. So there's a key in my inventory, and at this point, if I were to get a match as well, I guess those are the only things I've seen... Keys and matches both go in the upper left. And just kind of fill in whatever spaces are available, I guess. So I guess now we'll try going up here. And this is eerie looking. Also, it appears to be a like blocked staircase. Uh, I can jump over here, however. Uh, you know what I would like? I would really like some music. All right, so let's do the same thing a little bit farther to the right over here. Oh, there's an unlit candle here, by the way. Can I use the map? It's too dark to see the map. And then finally, I can show you that the room looks kind of like what you see over here. So pretty cool. It looks like there's like a bat hanging down inside the middle. And so am I capable of exiting to the right up here? 
Looks like I can. It would be great if I found a save point sometime soon. Uh, there's another pesky dog. Uh, I don't think he can get to me here. I see the crank and the mechanism. And it looks like I'd be going up around him. I mean, I guess we'll take the risk. So if I do this... Oh. I don't have a way to toggle the glass in here right now anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So I guess we'll be coming back there at some point in the future. And can I go left from this room? Uh, hey Flute, give me the light again temporarily. Looks like I probably could. And so if I had the wand here... Oops. Uh, if I had the wand here, then I could jump up here. There's a fruit, but I can't go to the left. Oh! Uh, hello. Give me some light again. There's platforms in a place up here. Okay, I didn't see that before. So I guess um, I can hop here, hop here. Oh, and there's even like stepping stones, stalactites on the ceiling, it looks like, too. I wonder if I could chop the bat down. I guess I gotta try, actually. So, if I break some of those down and then switch to giving myself some light, uh, there's still more stalactites. However, they're going to get more and more difficult to hit. Uh, I'm not sure if I can hit the ones up on the ceiling very well. Oops. And now I'm down here. Yeah, I'm not sure how to reach the rest of them, and so I'm going to choose not to worry about that right now. And instead go to the left and discover... That looks kind of like a kangaroo. Three firecrackers. Uh, looks like there's a secret passageway over here. And it's got a chest. How do I feel about chests? Pretty good. What do we find inside the chest this time? Egg as a service. That's a ridiculous name, but pretty funny. And I guess I'll take the risk that the uh, kangaroo in the background is not going to come after me. Oh, these are lily pads and I can step on them. Great. Pick some firecrackers. Circular recess. This is where the disc goes, isn't it? All right, so here's where we are on the map. It looks like there is an exit to the left. I desperately need a save point because kind of probably should have ended the episode a while ago. Uh, I can't get through here. Can I can't yo-yo through here. So it suggests that there's an exit, but maybe it's toggle blocks or something, and maybe I would use, maybe if I brought the disc here. I chose to put the disc back about a number of episodes ago when we originally found the disc, because there was a big scary thing that just it vaguely reminded me of like the Spunky Ghost or like the ghost in uh, a couple other games that I won't even mention uh, for spoiler reasons, maybe. And... Um, made me think that it was going to be like a scary late game kind of uh, ordeal where we're going to have to carry the disc while being chased by a ghost for a long period of time. Um, and so I don't know if that's you know right or not, uh, but that's just kind of like what it popped into my head is what might be happening. Okay, so what other directions am I capable of going right now? Actually, it looks like there's a secret exit-ish kind of thing over here that I hadn't been to in this room. But there's nothing in here. If I play the flute... Hmm. Is there a way that I could toggle the switch and be in there at the same time? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, well, back in this room, I have never gone upwards, so let's do so. And we find... not even sure what I'm looking at there. Some animal statues that are, like, worshipping this pot of grass or something. There's fruit here. I can go left or right. Left would bring me to the other side of the screen with the dog which I'm kind of afraid of, so I think we're going to choose to go right instead to discover three more dogs. Great. Just what I wanted. 
If I'm clever, there's a couple of things I could do here. I should try to be clever, though. Uh, have I ever encountered the dog while I had a yo-yo? Doesn't seem like the yo-yo has any effect. I do have three firecrackers, and I think it did stun them briefly, and then I should be able to get over to the right. So I'm going to try that, I think. Yeah. Okay, so they're confused. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. I got past them. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, great. So over here, uh, possibly a chest. Would the chest fall down if I hit the switch? I'm really curious to know. No, there's two types of, okay, there's like glass and there's switch blocks and they look kind of similar and I've confused them before in my brain, but now I'm starting to unconfuse them in my brain. Okay, so, oh, look at, behind here there's like that's a bunch of the bad guys who all of a sudden come flying at me and I have to use a firecracker to like get them to go away or whatever so I think I don't want to release them so instead I'm going to continue exploring to the right I could really use a save point <gasps> it's a save point it's a telephone oh thank goodness it's blocked I have to approach it from the top I see what I need to do in order to get to the top I need to... Can I hit a switch at the yo-yo? I can. Did I know this before? Also, I have to hit it in a certain direction. All right. That felt like it should have worked. Like I get the gist of what I think I'm about to be doing here. Oh wait. Oh, you really have to smack it. Okay. And I think the yo-yo is the only remote activation mechanism I could use here. This, uh, hmm. I'm not sure I'm capable of doing this right now. I would really like to get to that save point, though. Let's see what we can learn about the room. Not very much. Okay, well, if I go back to the dog room, there was another exit kind of thing through here. And so that would bring me into a different section of the switch room, which doesn't really help me, but I could have flipped the switches before I came in here. So what happens if I hit the switch? This might at least get me to the chest or something. So then I could go to here and no, it does not get me to the switch. I need a... I need a very remote mechanism for toggling switches, it feels like. Also, I can go up here, but that doesn't seem to help me at all. And the dogs are trying to come after me again. And just to show it off, it's been 23 minutes since I've saved, which feels like a lot of time. I'd really like to get to the save, but I don't think I have the tools to do it here. Can I walk back to another save? Maybe. I have to pass by the dogs again. One of my blue hearts did get eaten. So I think I am going to try to go back, and so I'm going to throw a firecracker, and then when they're all maddeningly distracted, uh, try to get through, but they're eating me, and it's bad, but I made it through, and I still have three hearts. So we're going to call that a success. Also, there's a fruit, so now I have four hearts. So that's great. Uh, just to witness it, because we didn't before, I could sneak up on this dog over here. There's a crank... And I would be able to climb a ladder. But I'm down to one firecracker, and he's just going to wreck me, I think, if I try to turn the crank. So that does not feel good. So instead, am I possibly able to go back through here? I don't remember. Uh, can I hit the switch? Yeah, I could hit the switch from here with the yo-yo, right? And then be on this side and go back the way I came, question mark? Except for how did I come in here? Uh, maybe somewhere in the very upper right? Uh, actually, I should take a look at the map. Yeah, it looks like the very upper right over here. It's hard to see. But yeah, I came in through here. Okay, great. And in this room, I could totally get back. Okay. Here's the bird call again. 
And it did happen like across screens. I think it might just be random ambience. Okay, so there's a dog on this screen as well, and he might be able to get me, so I need to immediately wand and get higher than he can get me. And then I think I can just outrun him. Oh, except for, okay. Uh, can I just get off the screen? I can just get off the screen. We're fine, we're fine. And then my save point is just a few screens back down over here. Okay, um, there's the peacock room. And just to the right of me is a save point. Okay, so I can finally save the game. All right, this probably turned into a long episode or two episodes or something like that. But in any case, we've saved our progress once again. I'm going to say I hope as always that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Animal Well, where we have managed to now explore a whole big new swath of the map, as well as discover fast travel. For now, bye-bye.